so you know when I'm if I'm going to be out there and then I'm going to come into here this is going to be the gallery space then I've got all my working area so I, put, I built the gallery in between all the working area but I'm working on things and people want to see this they want to see they want to see the workings of of, of the collection and then they're two meters away from seeing work finished on the wall and this is before it goes out to any galleries which is the most important thing I think because I think that all these artists are conditioned to think that the gallery is going to be the one selling the work and they're completely wrong there doesn't seem to be any any marketing skills in that these guys have got where well I get artists coming to me saying to me you know, what can I do with regards to enhancing my social media? you just got to keep going. One of the most important things is to do the same message continuously because, you know, at the end of the day, someone might read it, might not acknowledge it. Another day they will read it and they will acknowledge it. And that's how they get interested in you. You know, I, I built this wall. This is my gallery, right? This is my gallery. This is my gallery. Anything that's finished, I get it framed up and it goes onto these walls. So this is like the, you know, the Great Wall of Cheshire. This is uh, you know, a, a very important part of my business because you know, art is a business and that's what we've got to be looking at. We can't be faffing around here thinking that galleries or art agents are going to start selling our work. You need something as basic as that. But this is, so a client comes in here, right? They walk around, they see this is it, right? To win is everything. My work is about what we go through to succeed. You don't need all these big curations. You don't need any you know, big textbooks telling me about you know what the art is about I want to meet the artist I'm interested I collect art I want to meet the artist I want to see what they you know what their vision is how, where, what they've done where they're going what their vision is for the future all those things are important you know they want to see this this is important as well seeing all this it's all about looking at the processes you know these are all finished but it's a matter of they're going out but I'm still taking ideas from these pieces and I'm producing new works but then I'm surrounded by the gallery, which is in, in and amongst me. So when I've got people in here, I can start talking about, well, this is what I'm working on. This is what I've finished. You know, I've, I've created my own emporium as such, as all of my work is available to see. You know, firstly, you've got to be a client to see my work. So you've got to have collected something of my work to come into my studio. And that is basically the only rule with regards to doing these studio visits. But it's important, look, I've got a post here. You know, it's an office but I've converted it into what I need as a working space. And I'm working on big pieces. I've got a lot of work ready to go to the galleries. This is going all over the world. I've got pieces going to China. I've got pieces over here going to Australia. I've got pieces going to LA down there. I've got pieces going to Mayfair. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a gallery, but it shouldn't be the only thing that you rely on. Build your own gallery. Get your own, someone's, if, even if you've got one wall in your garage, Give it some plaster, paint it, stick a piece on it, and you'll sell something. It's just people are too narrow-minded. They're not understanding that in most cases, they've got to be selling all the time. They paint all the time, market all the time, sell all the time, distribute all the time, talk to clients all the time, know how many clients you've got, how many people collect your prints, how many people collect your originals. It's really important. You've got to know these things. If you're not, you're not taking it seriously. And if you're not taking it seriously, you're not going to do well. It's as simple as that. You know, I'm, I'm working around here. I've got these pieces on the go at the moment. So I've got a piece that's finished on the wall from the Hell Collection. You know, all these pieces, I get art agents coming to see me, all right? And then in and amongst it, I'm working on this. You know, I light it all up, get it ready. And how it's going to be looking under light in the gallery is what I'm interested in. I've got pieces here that are going out to another country. I've got new pieces I'm working on here. But, you know, all these pieces are really relevant to me. But... People coming in and seeing the chaos of what I'm about as an artist is really one of the most important things because they want to see where you're going. Collectors are interested in where is the artist going, you know? Some might say, yeah, but you've got a sales background. Yeah, I've got a sales background, but you know, that's, that's just, just something that you can learn. It isn't something you can't learn. Like, you can learn how to paint. You've got to be, you know, you've got to be street savvy. You've got to be able to get yourself dirty. You've got to be able to do things outside of the box and you don't need to be relying on art agents. It's just important.